My name is Erin Fox. I teach orchestra at Park Hill Junior High. I started playing piano at the age of three, and turns out my neighbor next door to me when I was in sixth grade uh, decided to play clarinet, so I said, I'll do the same. The next year, our band director said, we need to have an oboe player. And he points to me and says, you, you'll play oboe. I thought, great, now I play oboe. I ended up sticking with that through high school and college and gradually found my way over to violin in a very physical discipline where we're doing a very physical learning curve. The left hand controls the notes and then the right hand which is producing the tones. So it's kind of like driving a car. The left hand is your steering wheel and, and you turn left or right or you find out where you're going. And then the right hand, the bow, is how you get there. It's the rest of the car doing its job to get you to that destination. I think the students are naturally driven by the challenge. I serve four campuses daily. I serve Bowie, Prestonwood, and Brentfield, along with Park Hill, to provide a class for instrumental study. My favorite concept to teach in orchestra is actually music theory. For Theory Thursday, typically this is a day without instruments, and we study the actual theory of music, how it's put together. We take double stuffed Oreos to represent one type of interval, and we take thin Oreos to represent a different type of interval, and so then we use those Oreos in different combinations to create different flavored triads, different intervallic relationships, which directly relates to how far apart their fingers are going to go on their instruments. Very measurable. My ultimate goal in teaching is to create a thinking musician, one who can play whatever you put in front of them, not just somebody who knows five or six songs really well. I am proud to say that I'm currently the assistant concertmaster of the New Texas Symphony Orchestra. I teach the Dallas Asian American Youth Orchestra. I also teach private lessons, so it seems that teaching is really imbued in everything that I am.